a chance to talk to you last week, uh, but I spent the last, not this past week, but the previous week in Los Angeles, California, and the weather was spectacular. Um, I'm glad I got out in time uh, before the earthquakes. But I went to a conducting symposium, and I had the privilege of studying with two of the preeminent conductors in the country. And uh, this one, so each conductor gets up, and then you're, it's a master class situation where they coach you through some things and they give you some ideas on how to do some things better. And this one girl got up and did this exceptionally hard piece, probably the most difficult thing I've ever had to play. And she gets up there and she struggles with it a little bit, and then the, one of the conducting teachers gets up behind her and she's like, just give me your arm. And she's like, she hands her her arm, she's like, no, no, give me your arm. Like, let it fall into my hand. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this. And she starts up the ensemble and everything goes perfectly. And the girl just looks at her and she's like, well, I'm supposed to be good at this. <laughs> you have to trust me. What if in life we, instead of trying to do it ourselves, just rested our arms and the powerful hands of God? Trust me, he's good at this already. So let's trust him to do what he's already done before, to do what he does best, to just rest in him and find all the power that is in his hands, to trust the power that is in his hands, to trust him to do more than we can do. This morning, I invite you to just fall into the arms of Jesus. Because where you are weak, he is strong. Where you are broken, he is whole. This morning is a great day for us to fall into the almighty arms of an almighty God. Will you stand with me now as we pray? Eternal and gracious God, our Father, Lord, we know that you're way bigger than us, God. Lord, we know that you are all-powerful. Lord, we know that you are all-wise. But sometimes, God, we forget to trust you. We forget to give you those things that we know that you can do that we can't do. So, Lord, help us to fix our minds on you. Help us to be focused in not only our minds, but also our hearts on what you are, God, on all that you are, that you are our provider, that you are our keeper, that you are our protector. Lord, help us to trust you more. And Lord, remind us of all the things that you've done, Lord, that we will be strengthened for the journey. Lord, we thank you for this time that you have brought us together. We thank you for the opportunity to be called to your sons and daughters and the opportunity to come directly before you. We don't need to go into confessional booths. We don't need to pray to somebody else. We can talk directly to you, and that is such a privilege, God. Lord, we ask that you fall fresh upon this place, that you open our hearts, and that you take out the things that ought not be there and fill us with all that is you. Fill our hearts, fill our minds, fill our spirits, God. And Lord, we want to be filled to overflowing, God, that we can pour out your love wherever we are, we can leave a trail of your goodness in our lives. It's in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen.